Hey Cosmos, the color emitted by your computer screens is only red, red blue and green. The weird fact is that no other color from these three are being emitted by your computer. But yet you see all the other colors. How does this happen? This happens so because our retina contains three different types of cone cells. Each is best suited to detect a certain color. One is good for green, the other for blue and the third for red. Then how do we see other colors? Let's take the color pink. The wavelength of pink lies between blue and red. When we see a pink colored object, our blue and red cone cells get slightly activated and our brain knows that it is pink. So in a computer, the LED sends out the color blue and red and lies to our brain that it is pink. And unfortunately, our brain believes it. It's weird to know that pink color doesn't even exist. Check it yourself. Is there a pink in the rainbow? Then what is pink? To answer this question, we must know that Light is an electromagnetic wave, which means it has a property of both magnetism and electricity. There are not only visible lights, but most of the lights are not visible. Welcome to the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum is a term used by scientists to describe the various ranges of colors. It goes like this, radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray and gamma ray. We can't really see microwave and gamma rays. So in the color wheel, all these colors are exchanged by the color that we call the pink. Light is cool and weird and it has many fascinating properties. But can we stop it? Scientists at the University of Darmstadt, Germany have stopped light. They used a method called electromagnetically induced transparency EIT. They used a cryogenically cooled opaque crystal of yttrium silicate covered with prasodymium. This crystal had a special property. It would turn transparent when it is hit by a laser. So they shot a control laser making it transparent and then they beamed a source image. After a while they suddenly stopped the control laser turning it opaque again. Not only did this trap light but also stopped it bouncing off inside. This means that even the photons were trapped inside. The fastest thing in the universe has been stopped. Hey, you can trap a light. You have to take a box with the interior covered with mirror and it should be 100% perfect which is almost impossible. Then you have to go outside your house and open the box and you have to let in some light. Then suddenly at the speed of light you have to close it, trapping the light inside forever. But it's impossible since we cannot move as fast as light. Hey, but can we stop light? I mean, not like trapping it inside a crystal, but completely freezing it. As far as we know, we can't do that. But still, there is a chance. Absolute zero or zero Kelvin is the lowest temperature it can get. Beyond that, there is nothing. It signifies that all matter stop moving at this temperature but will light stop moving too the substance which is at absolute zero will have its lowest energy point which means all the matter will stop moving so when a light is passed through it will it stop moving too but that's a problem when when light hits the object which is at zero kelvin it would absorb the energy from light and it wouldn't be zero kelvin anymore so light can't just freeze but it would impede its flow and also we don't know if zero kelvin exists it's just imaginary
Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, think cosmic. Thank <laughs> you.